Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. QuickBooks provides the bill tracker tool to make it easier to create and process payables and purchase orders within your company file. However, this tool is not available when multi-currency is enabled within a company file. You can access the bill tracker by selecting Vendors, then Bill Tracker from the menu bar. Within the bill tracker window that opens, you can see all of your purchase orders and paid and unpaid bills for the last 30 days appear within a list. You can click the colored bars at the top of the window to filter the list and display only the unbilled, unpaid, or paid items within the list. You can also use the vendor, type, status, date, and group by dropdowns in the toolbar above the list to filter the list items that are shown or to group them by vendor. To display all of the items again after filtering the list, click the clear or show all button at the right end of the toolbar at the top of the list. If you select the vendor choice from the group by dropdown, you will see the transactions within the list grouped into collapsible and expandable sections by vendor. You can click the arrows to the left of each vendor name shown to expand or collapse the group of transactions for that vendor. You can select the None Choice from the Group by dropdown to remove the grouping by vendor if needed. You can perform actions on the items shown within the list in the Bill Tracker window. To perform actions on an individual item, click on the line item on which you want to perform an action. You can click the button shown in the action column for the desired line item to perform the most immediate action for the selected line item. To choose another action to perform instead, click the drop down to the right of that button and then select the desired action to perform from the drop down menu of choices that appears. The choices that are available will vary depending on the type of purchase order or payables item selected. You can also perform an action on a batch of selected items of the same item type. For example, you could choose to batch print selected purchase orders or pay a batch of selected bills. To do this, filter the list as desired. Then check the checkbox to the left of the list items on which you want to perform the batch action. Note that you can click the checkbox that appears at the top of the column of checkboxes to select all of the displayed items if needed. After selecting the items, click the Batch Actions drop-down button in the lower left corner of the Bill Tracker window and select the action to perform from the pop-up menu that appears. For batch printing, select Purchase Orders under the Print Selected command in the pop-up menu. To Batch Pay Selected Bills, you would select the Pay Bills command instead. To mark Selected Purchase Orders as Closed, you would select the Close Purchase Orders command in the pop-up menu. To edit a transaction shown within the list of items, simply double-click the line item to open the transaction for editing in a new window. Alternatively, you can select the line item within the list, click the Manage Transactions button towards the lower left corner of the window, and then select the Edit Highlighted Row command in the pop-up menu that appears. To create a new purchase order or payables-related transaction, Click the Manage Transactions button towards the lower left corner of the window and then select the type of new transaction to create from the pop-up menu that appears. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.